welcome to Alvin DeLong Guitar Academy and today we will talk about metronome and how to use the metronome okay so the, it's very important the metronome uh, subdividing the note and really playing on time and sometimes uh, when, when you record a song it's not actually playing on time sometimes off beat it's like uh, laid back mm -hmm. or something ahead okay. of beat but the first thing that uh, you know the students must uh, learn is playing really on time okay okay so to give you an example this is 60 beats per minute and 60 beats per minute means one second two three so if you have 60 of those it's like one minute okay okay so that's clear and you can start by playing let's say the 16 note third string fifth of red look one time right it's actually harder when it's slow okay and then that's what we call quarter note if you play a whole note let's say you play a C chord and then just play one two three four that's a whole note two three four whole note three then half note is playing on one three one Two and then three. Three, four. There you go. One, two. That's what we call the half note. Four. One, two, three, four. And then the other one is quarter note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's playing on time. It's like you have a two, three, drummer. Four. Yes. One, two, three, four. And then the next one is eight note playing two two notes in one beat so one and two and three and four and 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 that's eight note okay. and then you can still subdivide it it's gonna be sixteen note it's like four notes in one beat one two three four one two three four some some people call it uh say it one e and uh, two e and uh, okay uh when i was studying it was one ta 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 two ta 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 three ta 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 four ta, i think ta, one ta, e ta. and that is great for me ta, 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 one ta, 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 two ta, ta. doesn't matter as long as go one two three four one two three four three e. can be one pineapple two pineapple <laughs> Then you can do combinations of okay. you know like a one two and three four one two and three four one two and four yeah one two and three and one two and three and practicing uh, you know you can speed it up or slow it down let's speed it up a bit let's go let's say uh, 80 beats per minute okay so let's go goes uh, a bit faster and then let's say you're practicing a, a lick I'll, I'll teach you one lick oh this is too fast right Sometimes you're going up, 
Okay. Let's try 80. 80? Yeah, just try. Hey, you're still good. How about 100? Done. Let's try 100 beats for a minute. Nope, not sure. <laughs> let's just try it. So yeah, let's try. Da, 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 Right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's one way of uh, uh, practicing with the metronome. Okay. And also you can use this with uh, chord changing. If you're having problems with uh, chord changing, let's say, again, I'll, I'll go back to uh, somewhere around 70. And if you're practicing, let's, uh, let's say, bar chords. Or let's say simple, simple chords, uh, C, D. Simple C, D. And then you can use the metronome with it. So play the metronome to, it can be, uh, let's say, whole note. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then change. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, they change. One, two, three, now it's four. When it's easy for you to, you know, when you get it down, Try half note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Then when you get three, it, try quarter four. note. Three, four. One, okay. two, three, four. Try. Right? I'm just doing down. Down. I'm just doing down. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. One and two and three and four and four. We're speeding up. We're speeding up. One. You're speeding up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So you see. Exercise, especially if you're uh, you know starting out with chords, so just choose and, maybe and, and, and two, what, three chords. What about this 16? Oh, <laughs> 16. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's <laughs> very hard. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. <laughs> That's too fast. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe with power chords, it's gonna be uh, easier. <laughs> That's the use of the metronome. Definitely out of the beat. <laughs> for me. So, so many use of uh, you know the, the metronome is very good for practicing if you have some like licks or what, solos. What, what, what speed to uh, start? Uh... I usually when, when it's a warm up uh, with my students, I, I usually do 60, 70 okay. around that quarter note. So like take like basic. And yes, maximum like uh, eight notes. Speed up and then speed it up. And sometimes we just stay up to uh, 80. And then we just do 16. You know, like what we did, though. <laughs> which, which is crazy. <laughs> is, there, is there a song like that one? C and D. But yeah, uh, stay 80 and then 8 notes, 16 notes. Okay, good. And then gradually speed it up. Especially uh, the, the complete beginner guitar course. Uh, we studied chord changing. So metronome is a really good uh, tool okay. for, for practicing. Yeah. Okay, so this is the lesson for today. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this lesson. And... Let us know what you think. You can comment down below or message us on Facebook on Alvin DeLon Guitar Academy Students page. So this is Alvin and Dan saying ciao, rock on, and have a great day, guys. Ciao, have a great day, guys. Thank you. Yay. Thanks. Thanks.